Hi guys, my name is Chris FPS101. Welcome back to another video, and uh, today we are starting up again the GTA 5 online series where I talk about the news, what's going on with Rockstar, and all that kind of stuff. Because I've had a few people actually been requesting it for a while now, and I thought if just broken up from my exams, it's a perfect time to bring it back. So, welcome back to this, uh, I guess it's a series kind of. Basically, the first thing I'm going to touch on is Rockstar. They are hypocrites. They've gone against what they've said completely. In a, a Newswire post they posted a long while ago, if I can find a screenshot, I'll put it up. Uh, in a Newswire post a long time ago that they posted, they said, they said, not, mo not word for word, but more or less they said, if there is any modding software or a mod menu for story mode that doesn't affect online mode, they will not tamper with it, they'll not remove it, they'll not try and get rid of it. They will try and leave it because obviously it's not doing any harm. Uh, now these mod menus are specifically known as trainers uh, because you can use them to train AIs, like quote unquote train, because it's not actually training them, but you just you tell them what to do. So these are used for making movies like Rockstar editor videos, and you can make them look really good. And it should actually be a feature that Rockstar implemented themselves, but obviously since they're lazy and they didn't do that. Uh, other people, modders, for example, have had to actually make their own mod menu, which are, which are actually called trainers, but um, anyway, Rockstar went against what they said, because they said they would never remove those. They went right against what they said, because they've taken down the websites for those. Uh, I don't know some exact names off by heart, but they have taken down at least four or five websites of trainers, which is really unfair on the community especially, because we have nothing to fall back on, apart from director mode in a star mode which is really bad it's just terrible because um, they expect us to make movies of that of course which is just not going to happen it's rubbish it's a load of rubbish so uh, yeah it is a shame that they've taken them down but they've gone exactly against what they said which is ridiculous to me that's basically all i wanted to talk about today the fact that they've actually just taken down uh, some mod menus but um, also what they've done is actually stopped modding completely in online as well which is uh, it's a good thing and a bad thing it's a good thing because there's there's quite a lot of modders that were just trolls and they would just troll you in a session and be really irritating uh, but it's a bad thing for me especially because I don't have a modded account well I did have a modded account they banned that I had another modded account they banned that then uh, I'm on my third account now and uh, I have done a little bit of modding but not much and um, oh. basically I've got barely any money now so I had to sell loads of cars that I, I didn't really want to sell if I'm honest but I had to sell them for money so we could do that we could do with that because there isn't really any decent ways of making money like they say the new gun running DLC was going to make us loads of money but it takes so long it's ridiculous the amount of time it takes you can tell Rockstar are just in the updates for shark cards now, it's just stupid. Okay, so thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, comment and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.